Hello. In this session, we will look at the different types of IT infrastructure that we have. So in the last session, we have looked at the various components that uh, makes up for the IT infrastructure. So whenever we talk about the IT infrastructure, so we have the uh, servers, we have the desktops, we have the networking components. Likewise, we have different different components that makes up for the IT infrastructure. Now we will look at what are the different types of infrastructure that are available whenever we talk about the IT infrastructure. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started off with this. So generally, whenever we talk about the IT infrastructure, there are primarily two types of IT infrastructure that are available for us. So we have the traditional IT infrastructure and then we have the cloud infrastructure. So traditional infrastructure is what um, uh, we have been using like, you know, since the 70s and 80s period. And then we have the cloud infrastructure, which we have like, you know, in the last 10, 15 years, uh, we have this cloud infrastructure that has uh, come in the IT industry. So let's look at each of these uh, uh, one by one in detail. So first we will look at your traditional IT infrastructure. So your traditional IT infrastructure is where we have all the physical components. So this IT infrastructure, this traditional IT infrastructure is made up of the hardware components as well as the software components. So we have like physical machines, the networking components, the facilities, the data centers, the server rooms. All of these are physical components which makes up for the traditional IT infrastructure. So this consists of all the facilities, the data centers, the servers, the networking hardware uh, components like your desktop computers and any enterprise application software solutions. So this makes up for the traditional IT infrastructure. So typically this infrastructure requires so, uh, you know, the setup basically requires more power. We also need a physical space to set up all these different different components and also memory that you know uh, in terms of your other infrastructure types that we have so basically we first of all we need a, a physical space where we can set up this infrastructure then we also need to have the power supply we need to have the networking supply we need to have all the physical components to set up the traditional it infrastructure so a traditional infrastructure is typically installed on premises so we call it as your on premise data center which is basically in a physical location and it is dedicated only for a company to use and it is only for private use uh, others will not be able to use that space it is restricted to a particular uh, company or to a particular organization and only they can use that infrastructure for uh, running the applications or various softwares so this is your traditional it infrastructure and then we have the cloud it infrastructure now uh, your cloud infrastructure is also you know traditionally the same okay it's we call it as your cloud computing it infrastructure and this is also similar to your traditional infrastructure however the difference would be that uh, instead of we as as a company maintaining on premise data center or having the physical space and maintaining the infrastructure we will have a service provider who will be providing this infrastructure for us and we as a user we will be accessing this infrastructure over the internet all right and it also gives us the ability to use computing resources without having to install anything on premises so basically uh, we won't be having any uh, physical space we won't be maintaining any infrastructure rather we will have a service provider who will provide all the services for us and all the services will be provided over the internet so we can access these resources from anywhere we want without having to install anything on the premises all right and all of these resources will be through virtualization so basically we won't be having any physical components from the end users perspective we will be using all of these as a virtual resources over the internet so virtualization connects physical servers maintained by a service provider so in terms of your cloud infrastructure we will have a service provider who will be providing these resources for us and this will be available at any or many geographical locations so like i said um, we can start accessing these resources from anywhere we want over the internet and this service provide will provide these resources from any location we want all right so then it divides and abstracts the resources like your storage to make them accessible to users almost anywhere with an internet 
connection so as a user let's say i want some storage so as long as as a user i have internet connection i can utilize the storage resources from anywhere uh, uh, i want over the internet so because your cloud infrastructure is often public it is usually referred to as a public cloud so this cloud infrastructure we can also call it as a public cloud because generally it is open to anyone so anyone can uh, start using these resources over the internet and they can start uh, utilizing these resources to set up the infrastructure over the internet we can also call it as your public cloud all right so these are the two types of infrastructure that we have generally when we talk about the it infrastructure so once again we have the traditional it infrastructure where we basically have all the physical resources so we will be having the physical place the space we will have physical machines and networking and everything we will be maintaining all those components and then we have the cloud it infrastructure which is basically uh, a service provider is involved over here and the service provider will provide all the resources for us so like the storage the computing the networking everything will be available as a virtual resource for us and as an end user i can access these resources from anywhere i want that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video